Okay, sixth graders. If you remember right, yesterday's lesson was all about uh, providing more elaboration for the most important uh, parts of your narrative. And so that I know you've worked hard on that. And the one last thing that we really need to get detailed about is ideas for your conclusions. We never want to just say the end or, you know, something that's kind of just uh, rehearsed and we see a lot. So I'm going to give you some ideas for ending your narratives. All right. And the first one is to end with an image, All right, Some sort of picture in mind. And then there's a little example. And this handout is also um, right there for you on Schoology. Within a few paces of a grazing deer close enough to see the delicate lips, the twitching nostrils, the glossy, fathomless eyes. Ooh, we can totally imagine, all right, what that looks like. Or end with some sort of action. But since, short of diving in after him, there was nothing I could do, I walked away. Or maybe you want to end with dialogue. I don't know where you got it from, but in the end, it's going to get you in trouble. You could also end with some sort of reflection. I wished that he had been beside me so that I could have searched his face for the answers which only the future would give me now. And then number five, we could end with a lesson or something learned or realized. I will never go on another ride at the fair after eating stromboli. All right, that's kind of funny. Right, but I do kind of feel like, and everything will be okay, we kind of got a reflection mixed with uh, something learned or realized. Obviously, he realized he did, was not going to be like his brother or his father, brothers or father. All right, so we're going to watch a short video right now, and um, I'm going to pull it up as part of the lesson. And so... Just keep in mind, these are ones that they address on the video, and it's very simplified, but it's just a minute or two, a little over a minute. Rephrase your opening, use feeling, lesson learned, hope, or an update. And really, some of these are just set a different way from the ones that are above, but I just thought it might give you just maybe a little more idea. All right, so let me flip back to this. And let's get this video going. Uh, maybe I have to push play. Let me go back and hit play first. Sorry. Let's restart that. So sorry, guys. Let's get it back here. Okay. Maybe now. Writing a closing. A personal narrative is a true story about your life. You write about something that has happened to you. A closing is the very end of your story. It's also called a conclusion. We write closings to wrap up our story. We want our writing to sound finished. We also want to remind the reader of the main idea of her story. There are many ways to end a story. Here are a few ideas. You can rephrase your opening. You could tell your feelings about what happened. You might describe what you learned. You can give a hope about the future. Or you could give the reader an update. Now let's look at each of those ideas a little more closely. You can rephrase your opening. This helps remind the reader of the main idea of your story. It's important to not use the same exact sentences as your opening, though, because that would be boring. You want to say it with different words. For example, if your opening said, Have you ever been to the zoo? I had a blast at the zoo this weekend. Your closing might say, my trip to the zoo was so awesome. Don't you want to visit the zoo now? I reminded the reader that my whole story was about how fun my trip to the zoo was. 
but I said it in a different way. Another way you could end your story is to tell your feelings about what happened. For example, if your story is about getting a new toy at the store, your ending might say, I love my new toy so much, I can't wait to play with it even more. This ending is way more exciting than just saying, last I got home and played with my toy. To end your story, you could also tell a lesson you learned from your experience. For example, if your story is about a time you slipped on ice and broke your arm, your closing might say, next time it snows, I will definitely be on the lookout for slippery ice. That sounds a lot better than just ending with, then I went home from the hospital. Another option is to end your story with something that you hope will happen in the future. If your story is about going to the swimming pool, your closing could say, I hope I can go back to the pool again before the weather gets cold. Lastly, if you're writing about something that happened a long time ago, you might give the reader an update. For example, if you write about the day your baby sister was born, your closing might say, now my baby sister is two years old. She gets cuter and cuter every day. Now I'm going to write my closing. Here's the personal narrative I've already written about the day I got a dog. Have you ever felt so happy you could cry? That's how I felt last summer when my mom told me I could get a dog. I had wanted a dog for so long. I couldn't believe I was finally going to get one. First, my mom came to my room to talk to me. She told me since I had gotten good grades at school, I could get a dog. I was so excited. I jumped up in the air. Then we got in the car to drive to the store. I couldn't wait. I smiled the whole way there. When we pulled up, I saw that the store had a lot of dogs that needed to be adopted. When we got to the store, I looked at all of the dogs. They were all so cute. All of a sudden, one came up and licked my foot. He was white and fluffy and so adorable. I decided he was the dog for me. Finally, we put him in the car to take him home. He was wagging his tail and sticking his tongue out. On our way home, we stopped to get him some toys, food, and a collar. So now I need a conclusion. I'm going to first write my feelings. I'll write, I couldn't believe I had a dog of my own. I was so happy. Next, I'm going to update the reader about what my dog is like now. I will write, now I've had my dog for two months and he is a really great pet. I think he is the best dog in the world. That's it. The draft of my personal narrative is complete. Check out episode six if you want to see how I revise my story. Okay. All right. Now those ideas were very basic. Um, her examples were basic, but I do think that gives you a basis, all right, to go on. So that's the point of the lesson today. You have to decide what are you going to use for your ending. You don't just want to say the end. That's boring. What is three uh -oh. plus four? <laughs> and hold up on that a minute. Fun pets. Three okay all right I thought I hit the pause button all right so regardless sixth graders think about it all right you have a lot of ideas that you can use for your ending so get to it and finish off those uh, conclusions happy writing see you later